Director James Cameron sounds like he doesn't even want you to notice the state of the art 3D in his new movie Avatar. From a director's standpoint, I don't want to constantly be reminding you that you're sitting in a movie theater with a pair of glasses on watching a 3D film. I want you to be absorbed into the movie. So, you know, we have a few gimmicky 3D shots throughout the movie, but like maybe three in a two and a half hour movie. A gimmick that's been around since the days of drive-ins and giant killer robots from space, 3D movies are nothing new. But for Avatar, Cameron, together with his technology partner, Vince Pace, set out to improve 3D and the way it's used in film. We started uh, in 2000, uh, just basically kind of slapping two HD cameras together, and then it got more, more evolved, and we started to do active convergence and so on, and then we completely revolutionized internally our, our stuff, and we went from a parallel system to a beam splitter system, which if you know how stereoscopic cameras work, you shoot into a beam splitter so that you can get an interocular distance between the kind of the two lenses that's less than the diameter of the lenses. Because obviously the lenses just crash together and that's as close as you can get. But if you use a beam splitter, you know, one kind of shoots this way and one shoots this way. And I'm geeking out now. That's okay. That's all right. Okay. So then the cameras move like this and you can come right down to a zero interocular distance. Basically, the technology is mimicking the way your eyes can converge on something in real life like a finger in front of your face, and then refocus on something behind it, like a six-legged, nectar-feeding, horse-like alien creature. You know, just like in real life. And we see things as depth. We don't see things going past our eyes. We see these things as depth in front of our eyes. So we built a camera system that does that same thing. So as we rack focus, the two cameras are actually changing angles so that they converge on our subject of focus. What all this filmmaker jargon means to you, the moviegoer, is that you're getting a much different 3D experience than in the past. We had scenes where Jake would spin around with a spear in his hand. Other filmmakers might have said, okay, let's have the whole audience duck. But when you do that, you're taking them out of the movie. You're not enveloping them in the movie. We see in depth all the time. We're, we're sort of not really aware of it. We kind of forget that we're wearing perpetual 3D glasses. Um, so the movie kind of works that way. You're just watching in 3D like you do real life, and guess what? It feels like real life. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Rivas. Get that compound loaded.